So I woke up this morning, and Josie called me. Didn't exactly wake me up, but I was out of a loop. And we talked for a little bit, and I got up and started reading more Sophie's World. Now, I had initially read about George Berkeley. I think it was English, but I read about George Berkeley. And I found what he thought was fascinating. Kind of reminds me of the life is but a dream, but it's like life isn't our dream. Like, we're the part of the dream, which is cool. But I reread it this morning, as I said already, I repeat myself a lot. And I never, I kind of got the idea, but I didn't know that I actually didn't get the idea that much. So when I reread it, I really did get it. At least, I think so. But I got it more than I did the first time. And have you ever tried looking in a mirror and trying to blink with both eyes, but try to see yourself blink with both eyes? Like, I don't know how that would work. But when I do this, it reminds me of Dr. Horrible. The, my name is Billy. Um, I don't know, just the, the idea of Berkeley's philosophy that we are just a dream in God's eyes, like God's dream, but not we're not real. It's like crazy. In in Sophie's world, God, I don't want to spoil anything in case someone is either reading the book or will read it their senior year in high school. But it's like, okay, imagine. Imagine being a character in a dream, basically, and you realize that you're dreaming, but then you realize it's not your dream. All you are is a character in someone else's dream, that kind of thing, but that would be insane. Like, you'd feel some kind of like existential dread because you're not real. Can you imagine feeling not real? like? I don't know, that feeling is like, it's crazy because there's, there's no way to immediately disprove it. I mean, sure you can say, oh, like, this, this, this camera, it's, it's real, this computer, it's, I can feel it, this table, I feel, but Brickley says that everything has a spirit. It's not like, really, you can't, in a dream, you feel that a phone is real. And there's no way to distinguish because you feel the spirit of the phone. But I feel the spirit of the phone right now. How do I know that I'm not dreaming? Which is just like the Baroque period, but it's switched around. We're not the dreamer. We're part of the dream. That would be insane. And for the past like half an hour, I've been staring at the mirror in my bathroom, thinking about Alice and through the looking glass and Berkeley and all his crazy crackpot ideas, which don't seem that crackpot because there's no way to disprove them. I don't know. Just try thinking about that because really it's, it's crazy, crazy stuff. Um, I'm going to read more and sleep. I'll make another video later.